happy Friday. Okay, so we got a journal entry today. Our journal entry is going to be practicing with words. That's what our journals let us do. They let us uh, practice without judgment, without um, anybody getting on to us for not using them the right way. So it's really about just being creative uh, and really utilizing vocabulary and trying to work with words in different ways while also getting stuff off your chest, talking about things that are important to you, focusing on good things instead of negative things. So um, that's the purpose of the journal entry is uh, just a, a little bit of time to be creative. So we've been reading poetry um, and last week we practiced, a, we practiced a fill in the blank poem for our journal entry. This week we're going to do what's called a hashtag poem. So um, this will be fun, and I think you'll do probably much better at this assignment than I did because you probably use those more than I do. Okay, um, so the first thing that I want you to do is find a picture. And a picture is going to work as our muse, as our inspiration for our writing today. You can choose one off your phone. Um, you can choose one off the computer at home. You know, uh, it can be a picture that, I really want it to either be one that you've taken or one that you're in so that you know the context, you know the background of that story, uh, you know what was going on when the picture was taken. That, that might be important when you're writing your poem. So um, that's where I want you to go for the picture. I want you to find it and I want you to paste it right here. Go ahead and bring it in so we can start <clears throat> analyzing it. We can start thinking about it. And how we're gonna do that is on slide three, there are several questions for us to answer. And so we're gonna choose five of those to answer. All right, so here's my picture. This is of a guy stressed out. I tried to find a personal one on this computer and I couldn't find one before I had to do this video. So anyway, here we go. This is my friend, um, George. And George is incredibly overworked. He's really stressed out. He's probably doing homework with his kids and his job. So he's a little stressed, a little stressed. Being a teacher, kind of stressful. I bet y'all miss us a little bit. Maybe not much, but a little bit. I know I miss y'all. So I'm sure that you miss my aggravating um, stories and tangents while I teach like right now. Okay, so um, go ahead and pull in your picture. I pulled in George. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to use um, my text box right here. And whenever I click on that, it will allow me to insert a text box and answer these questions. I can adjust the font, I'll show you how. So I've already answered number two, like what does this picture or image say that is unexpressed in words? And I think he probably feels like he didn't have any control. Um, over here, what adjectives would describe the atmosphere and the tone of the image? Uh, I think it would be, you know, kind of stressful or anxious to, to hang out with someone who appears to be that deep in thought and preoccupied with an idea. Uh, what do you think is, or who do you think is taking the picture? Through what lens is the image viewed? Uh, again, this is an outsider looking in. We don't really know what's going on in George's mind. Truly, only George does. So we can, you know, not really tell the story from his perspective, just what we see on the surface. Um, all right. So, like, if I want to answer another one over here, um, like, maybe what calls to you from this image, I could put in here, I... Um, have been stressed before, maybe with only one F. And then uh, maybe down here, the topic or the theme. Maybe we could even give it, um, you know, a, a name like um, busyness or busyness or busy world. Um, stress. It's definitely something that we all deal with. Uh, what do I wonder? Truly, I always wonder 
who is really in control? Like, is it me or is it the situations that I'm in? So again, five, five of these and answer them. You can answer all of them if you want to, uh, but just choose at least five to get you thinking about what's going on in this picture, focusing your thoughts. Okay. This would be called pre-writing or brainstorming about your topic. Got it? It's one of the first stages of the writing process. Okay. Now our poem format is a little different and I chose a hashtag. Uh, and I want you to create a series of hashtags. So I've got some articles and videos here for you to peruse at your own uh, leisure. This one is an article. It's really cool. It talks about the history of the hashtag, like why do we use it? How do, how do we use it to communicate? Uh, it's, a, it's a fascinating uh, instrument or you know, device especially for current communications on Twitter, uh, Instagram, exchange -gram, whatever you want to call it. I don't use it, so I don't know, but I'm a Facebooker. And so I kind of get the whole social platform, you know, format is a little different, but it's relevant because that's how, you know, y'all communicate. I know y'all are on there and if you can't read it in less than 30 seconds, then you're probably not interested in it. So that's why these are fascinating. And I think reading through that history, even if you just scan over it pretty quickly, that's cool. Uh, at the end of that article, they have a list of like popular hashtags. So um, you're going to have to write using hashtags today. If you need to um, give yourself some ideas, even just scroll down to the end of that article and look at that list. This is a really short and cool video where she talks about why we use hashtags, especially in Twitter. But again, you know, that's spilled over now, I think, into Instagram and uh, anywhere else where you would use a hashtag like Facebook. Anyway, it's only like two minute video. It's pretty cool. And she has some examples of where you can go and look for hashtags. And then finally, this article here has a very large list of hashtags. They're divided into groups, um, you know, like those that are trending now, uh, those that have to do with health and beauty. So again, this whole slide is just full of resources for you to use to help generate some ideas for your writing, for your poem, which is where we are now. So up here in slides two and three, this is our inspiration. You're going to put your photo on slide two. You're just going to pull it in right there, resize it if you need to. Answer five, at least five of these questions. Get some ideas about what your hashtags should look like and what they should sound like. Here is an example of a hashtag poem. Um, you can read through this. I love that there's someone mowing right in the middle of my lesson today. Um, you can read through this list of hashtags. Uh, she doesn't have that, or the, I'm sorry, I, I don't know that it's a she. The poet doesn't have the hashtags in here, but they would read very much like this. Um, notice that there's no spacing between the words. So um, yours should look like that as well. So this is just an example just for you to read. You don't have to do anything on slide five. Uh, you're going to do all of your work after you do the work in two and three on slide seven. So this is just an example just to read through. Here are your instructions and here's where all of the information is going to go that you're going to send me today. You're going to put your picture in here. <laughs> so you're just going to go like right here. My computer's slow and there's a guy mowing. Hashtag good times. And of course my nothing, nothing is working. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the video too, guys. Okay, well, you are gonna put your image right here. Okay, you're just gonna paste it in there. I'm sure your computer will work. Mine is not, which is kind of funny, isn't it? Okay, let's, no, okay, 
Um, and then you're going to come over here and type your poem. So you can just backspace, you know, and get rid of my stuff. And then do your poem right over here. You just do hashtag good times with technology. All right. That's it. That's all I've got for you today. Good luck. Um, I will check everything on Sunday. Um, any last minute things, you know, I get up early on Monday mornings and look through your stuff. Grades, I try to get in on Monday. Um, next week, we'll do the same thing. We will analyze media and text. We will assess it. How well do you understand this format on Thursday? And we'll write a journal entry on Friday. There will be videos to support you. Uh, I've got a Google Meet right now. So, see ya.